We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to be taking a first look at Dead Season. It is by Snailbite and Iceberg Interactive, released on October 8th, 2024. They were kind enough to send a code my way to check out the game and showcase it here at the Freak Show. So that's what we're going to be doing right here, right now. Let's begin. We have easy, we have normal, we have hard. All right. Uh, players new, five saves per mission, three saves per mission, balanced the way the game is intended, and hard for advanced players who want a serious challenge. All right. Let's go with normal. We to go with normal. Ah, yeah. That should be fine. That dude's running. Er, day he is running and running and. Oh, he he not running. They seem to be. Seem to be moving a little quicker. I'm not real sure about that. The property of no one, baby. Oh, they're coming. I mean, if they're shamblers, you don't really have to run. All right, um, you need to find a weapon. Click on the search icon to search for Adams. He, he seems lovely. Aha! Hold and drag to your hand. That was an action point. At the start of each turn, each survivor gets four action points. That can be used for movement, searching for items, attacking enemies, or other actions, like eating cookies. Click on the destination, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, and then bonk them. Just bonk them with the pop. 65%, that is not a good chance. Work, though. Scripted. Hit chance. Infected are hard to kill due to their high pain tolerance. They hardly notice most light to moderate wounds. Therefore, the hit chance of weapons indicates likelihood of causing damage to vital organs such as the brain, and not just the ability to hit the target. Eh, I mean, I'd rather just have a normal hit chance. I, I don't love that. I, I mean, I, I guess if you're going to put it in a real world or in-game context, I, I suppose it sort of kind of makes sense, but it's you don't need that it's it's fine the survivor is out of action points you can end the turn by pressing the end turn button or backspace i i won't be using backspace for most of the time. oh no it's a shambler we must move to the highlighted territory and then we will end our turn once again oh there's a lot of shambling and wambling all right we can move around with wazd by the way Zoom in and out, which is nice. All right, Travis, approach the warehouse. Open the door. Go into the warehouse. Uh, let me just moon walk in up here. Oh no! <gasps> I'd say it's do or die, but it's not. Another one. Shoot him. Wait, 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 he doesn't look like one of those freaks. Hey, hey there, are you a freak? Uh, uh, no. See? Stand where you are. Is that blood on your clothes? Yeah, I was attacked on my way here, but I'm telling you, I'm fine. Don't mind, do you, or, do you mind taking that gun out of my face? Yeah, they're coming. Quick, help me barricade that door. Click on Matt's portrait to select him. You can quickly pass items to other survivors within three dials by throwing it to them. Click and drag and hold and do the thing. All right, cool. Uh, we just have a hazard. We want to throw it to Travis. And turn. That doesn't seem safe. 
Oh, well, that's probably, oh no! Sewer Zombie! It's the Sewer Zombie Alliance. Click. Yeah. Click. And we barricaded the door. It's all gravy, baby. Whatever survivors do, they produce noise that constantly lures infected to them. I don't really like that mechanic either. Although some actions like firing a gun or barricading a door produce even more noise, which ag aggravates the infected. Oh, the top bar indicates the amount of noise produced in the current turn. Each noise point on it adds one point to the bottom bar. When either the top bar or the bottom bar is full, an extra infected appears at the start of the next turn. Full filling uh, of the top bar additionally enrages the infected for one turn, making them faster. The number of skulls under the noise meter indicates the number of infected that will appear at the start of the next turn. Pay attention to how much noise you produce, or you'll be up against an even larger and more dangerous horde. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. Woo, I was close! I ain't gonna hold him for long, let's move. Oh yeah. Alright, we have we've done this, and now we get to go do this. With the first rays of sunlight, it quickly became obvious that the situation was a lot worse than anyone could ever imagine. Oh, that's not good. None of that's good. Holy crap. Just look at the, all that mess. What the hell is an army? Can anyone hear me? Please respond. Uh, does this thing even work? Alright, people. We are already close to the police station. Let's move. Move it, move it, move it. There's something in the car, something in the car. Ali gonna go hang out with the czar. Matt's gonna go right over here with Paige also going over here-ish somewhere, somehow, somewhere. Zombie went foodie. Zombie went to om nom 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 you. Om nom 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 nom. I could hold space bar to fast forward. There's so many zombies already. Why are you sending more? Oh, dear me. No, I don't want to start trading. Stop it. Alright, Paige, you got a gun. That doesn't seem like a maybe the best, best of ideas. Alright, the line drawn from the selected tile to a zombie means the survivor will be able to shoot the enemy after moving to the selected location with the long-range weapons in hand. Solid line to indicate the survivor will be able to shoot any weapon in hands. Dash means only the weapon with the longest range can reach the target. Got it. Roger, roger. Why? Why is there shrieking? Who signed off on shriek? I don't like that there's a manhole cover right there. We know they come out of manhole covers. But where did Travis's uh, giant pipe wrench thing go? I would have liked to have seen like oh I might oh, okay no I would like to have seen like maybe F or something possibly being the thing that allows you to oh what is that I don't I don't think I like that attacks of opportunity every time a survivor moves out of melee range there's a good chance of triggering a free attack from an enemy be wary of the red marker indicating the move the result of the opportunity of attack attack the opportunity yeah, yeah. So yeah. Fitty! Oh, we got it with the Fitty. Alright. Good job, Travis. Alright, Paige. Uh where where is the exit? Oh gosh, that's so far away. Alright, Holly. Get down over here. Have a Holly Jelly Christmas. In case you didn't hear this crazy angry zombie right there. No? Sorry. I'm sorry. A can of organic food? 
It's a ranged weapon. Done. There are three main types of items in the game. Items with active abilities, items with passive abilities, and quest items. Items that have active abilities, weapons, medkits, etc. Indicate how many AP cost, it costs to use them. Such items must be placed in one of the hand slots equipped before use, unless they are labeled quick use. And it can be activated by clicking on them or pressing their assigned hotkey. Items with passive abilities work automatically without needing to be used directly and have no cost required. Items labeled wearable grant an effect simply by having it in an inventory slot. All weapon attachment bonus or add bonuses to the weapons they are attached to. Quest items are required to complete the missions and objectives and may or may not have abilities. Uh, an indispensable thing when you are hungry or need to squash a zombie hit. Zombie hit and many more. Alright. I think I go here and we're fine. Travis, get over here, my friend. I don't wanna. You can't make me. Step, step, and stop. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that we can loot. Uh, we got Speedy Zombie coming up behind us. Used to go fast and forward. I poke you. I poke you. I poked you. It's, it's just, it's just the thing that I did. All right, Holly, get your booty moving, girl. Mm-hmm. I, I don't like. They shouldn't. They not be aware of us. If we didn't make any noise, or you know. Hmm. Oh, now we have a super zombie. Oh, well, that's that's good. Uh, we, we needed one of those. Gain three AP. Heck yeah. Survivors that are next to each other can exchange any number of items at the cost of one AP. Well, I'm sure there are better ways of doing things, but this is what we're doing. But coming to kill us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trebis. Page. Now that's Paget. I've heard of both ways. Oh, oh, good. We got another crazy zombie over there. There's no, uh, okay. I poke you. I poke you. I poke you. Yep, no, that's, that's accurate. That's how I saw that going down for me as well. Oh, good. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I am so happy that that's how that's going to go. Dodge it. That was not a dodge. That was you getting hit in the face for two. Because he critically hit you when you missed three times in a row. Oh, RNG, my old friend. Panic represents the mental condition of survivors and determines their ability to find the higher the panic level, the lower the chance, or the hit chance. Oh, good, because that's what we needed. Survivors gain panic points when surrounded by zombies when being hit when low on health or an ally dies. Panic is indicated by an arrow next to the survivor's portrait. Offer your mouse over the portrait to see the detailed information about the panic level. Alright, let's let's watch Matt here to be amazing again. Oh, well, I was only 45%. Oh, now you hit. Sure, buddy. He's fine. He does this all the time. This ain't no thing. This ain't no thing. Blah. I want to get indoor. You know, speedy zombie's not all that speedy. I mean, he is a little speedier, but... Oh, good. Super zombie over at our uh, x spot. That's nice. 
Exfiltration. Exfiltered water. You're getting closer. Well, this does not bode well for us, by the way. This does not bode well. That is quite the treasure you have in that Haradra cube. Oh my god, we found a sawed-off shotgun, baby. What? Paige says she ready for this. Mm-hmm. No, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know what Alright, do we have a grenade? Because, like, a grenade would work fantastically well right now. Just lob that junk out there. Watch everything go splat. Nope, no grenades. Alright. Grenade! I got me a can of food. You don't want none. I'm horning you. Paige is here with her son off. She's ready. Oh boy, they're like right up in my Kool-Aid. I am not sure that I like this. Donk, donk, donk. Okay. So, how you all doing tonight? Feeling pretty lovely? Ah, I, I miss you. Once, twice, three times. Oh no, we we landed that one. All right. Oh, this is this is wonderful. Ha! Vegetable to the face. Okay, that didn't that didn't really do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop screaming. Yeah, Matt. Matt did the thing. Matt's the man. Oh, that's that's great. Okay, cool. Wait. There we are. Beautiful. Oh. Oh my. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. That that doesn't seem that doesn't seem necessary. All right, we're going to speed up the zombies. They are way too slow. Had zombies at the ATM. It's just it's not not really working for me. I mean, we could technically just run past this guy. In fact, I think that might even be the preferred method of uh, dealing with things. I think we're out of range. Alright, come on, shamblers. Shamble closer, I guess. There's so, so many zombies. Alright, don't miss, Travis. It's all on you, buddy. Yeah! Alright, sweet. Told you, man. Travis, just don't miss. Well, I can't go that way. I'll have to go this way. Alright, I think we're fine. I mean, things are looking... Yeah, but it's, it's probably fine. Ha! little concerned with the other big zombie coming around the corner. There's food around the corner. Food around... And it's us. We're, we're the food. Food around the corner for them. Oh, dear me. 
All right. Well, uh, left click. Noise. I don't know, Matt. I think we'll try that. Will Will he go for Matt or go for the uh, the dudes in the middle? All right, Beep, peeps in the middle. Oh, oh, that's not. It's probably not great. Um, okay, I'm a, I'm a I'm a little concerned. They did do a pretty good converging situation here, so you know that whole scenario. Really, y'all couldn't coordinate a little bit better than that. She got no ammo. Good reload. Okay. Don't miss Travis. Don't miss twice. Travis, nobody likes you, buddy. Ain't nobody like you, Travis. This is a problem. Oh, that worked. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, well... That means we're in we're in beat down alley now, but we're okay. No maulings have happened just yet, but we are locked in place. Yeah. Keep it going. Alright, that's it for right now. Paige, your turn. Okay. Holly doesn't even have a son of a really Holly be better. He's he's big zombie. Okay. Well, that, that's, that's, I don't, I don't know what I expected, honestly. Alright, sweet. I mean, we're kind of doing it. it, it this is a different tactical type game, isn't it? The hordes of zombies, you gotta keep coming. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, the, the chance to hit is that's uh, a little abysmal. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Again, I don't. I don't know what I expected out of that. That's fair. Oh, you can do that? Dang it. I, I really thought that that was going to be a, like, like they can move and then they wouldn't be able to hit. But I guess they all have two AP. And I, I for whatever reasons, thought they had one. Ah, it was dumb. It was a dumb move. It were dumb. No question. Okay, sure, why not? That might as well be a thing that happened. Oh good, zombie rage! Crap, that alarm was too freaking loud. We better hurry before we have even more problems. Well, I mean, that is a thing that definitely happened. Oh no! That was only for one turn, theoretically. 
super fast zombie action. Well, I was wrong. That's not good. Are you kidding? Good God. All right. At least she did that successfully. All right. Now, you know there's going to be one spawning in our, our LZ here. I hope not, but the, the, the probability that one spawns in the LZ... Yeah, okay, we, we, we get it. Guy fell in the car. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand. It doesn't give you a small sense of panic, though. But we should be able to outpace them now. And there's no way to, like, stay long and, like, try to fight through all this, too. It becomes literally impossible because the the sheer amount of nasty's coming. All right, escape number one, escape number two, escape number three, and four to go, or something. I don't. Know. We did it! Yeah. Okay, points available one. Healing others also restores you to HP. All right, uh huh. Uh, panic is reduced by 33%. Carry one unused AP over to your next turn. Maybe. Grants a 50% reduced chance of being critically hit. Well, I'm going to go with the patience. It is a virtue, after all. That's for Holly. Matt has the same options. We'll let Matt become our field med. You know what? No, no, Matt's going to do the same thing. Patience. Paige is going to be our field medic. And you know what else? We're also going to have Travis be the field medic. I think that's fair. I think it's. I think that's a good, a good call. All right. And from there, we'd be able to just continue on and press forward into the next one. We'll take a peek at what's actually going on over here. But I believe we're going to probably break off our first look right around here. Town in flames. If there was any place in the entire town that was still safe, was probably the police station. Let's just see what the start of the map looks like, and then, yeah, we'll call it. No. No, this can't be. Hey, it's a hazmat zombie. What the? Heck, they're all over the place. What, what do we do now? Uh, okay, uh, okay, well, let's not lose hope yet. What's happening here can't be everywhere. Help should be along soon. We, we just need to hold down until then. Or hold out until then. That's easier said than done. Look, I have no idea what our chances are, but one thing is for sure. We ain't gonna make it if we don't get off the street right now. Travel impact. Survivals travel autonomously through locations, facing numerous challenges and dangers that impact their supplies. At the start of the mission, you may find that some items have been lost, broken, or consumed. Oh, that sucks. You can also reorganize your inventory for free. Okay. Prepare my loadout. Okay, let me just do that. Oh, wait. <laughs> we ain't got no loadout. All right, so here's some objectives that we have. I don't. I think I ignored all objectives before. We didn't have any in the last one. Find tools to fortify the building. Regroup inside the building. Barricade the front and back doors. Clear the place. The police station of a zombies. All right, let's look around. So we got super stinky hazmat zombie. We got a lot of different things that we can open. There's a lot of zombies laying around. Getting inside the building. I don't know where we would fortify, but there seems to be a few things. And I would assume we need to be careful not to go through the metal detector. Is my assumption. Anyway, guys and gals, that is going to be a tale for another time. Because I'm going to move over here first and check this. Ooh. Yeah, toxic gas immunity. I don't. How does this work? 
Oh, I just I just have it now. Okay. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode, or this first look video, in fact. I do hope you guys enjoyed. The game is called Dead Season. It just released yesterday. That will be on October 8th, 2024. And you guys will be able to grab it and play it and love it and stroke its fur or whatever it is you want to do with it. Uh, if you want more information about the game or to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, or any of that stuff, it's going to all be down below in the description of the video, just like it always is. And until the very next First Look video, limited run mini series, full series, triple P series, or any other single video or thing you find here at The Freak Show, I've been your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.